All right, team, are we ready? This is the one moment you've been waiting for. Your very, very first first chords. Like I said in the previous video, I don't care if you're using a pick or your fingers, just do whatever feels good. Um, right now we're training a bunch of other skills. So those skills don't matter right now. We're going to definitely do them, uh, but they're not a priority right now. So we are going to be learning a song called Shotgun and we are going to be learning four chords, four chords and the truth. Um, but these are baby chords. So they're not like crazy hard chords uh, and they're very, very simple. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be playing the four chords. Uh, we're going to be playing a G, a C, an E minor, and a D. Whoa, fancy, right? And the song itself is called Shotgun. Um, it's Shotgun by George Ezra. So it's a song I play all the time, and I've, I've taught so many people this song. It just is such an easy song to jump into, and so many people love it, like families love it. So sometimes I have uh, young students, they'll learn it, they'll play it for their, their parents, and they'll all jump in and sing it or parents play it and then they teach their kids how to play it. It's very cool. So it's a very cute song. I love this song. Um, so we're going to jump in right away. Um, one thing you might have noticed in the previous video is I am not referring to them by string numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm trying to refer to them by their letter names. So E, B, G, D, A, E, moving from one to six. So like that. Um, that is on purpose. Uh, it's a lot faster for me to explain it that way. And also, I kind of want you guys to, through osmos osmosis, figure this out, um, what I'm doing. So without further ado, we're going to jump in. Um, remember last time I was like, hey, learn the rhythm first? Good. And I hope you did practice the rhythm first for the previous song. For this one, I'm going to give you the chords first, and then I'm going to show you how to apply them to the rhythm. So because the rhythm of the chords is just a strum. So what we're going to do is the first chord will be a G chord. And this is what we call a, an upper triad. So that's the technical term. Don't worry about it. In the future, we will do some theory. I will teach you it in a very simple way, but that's what it is. So it's going to be three notes. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be starting on the G, which will be zero. And then you've got the B, zero. And then on the E string, you're going to be on the third fret like that. So zero, zero, three. So you can play through them one by one. A really good habit when you're first learning a chord shape is to play one by one. And then you can hear if you got every single note right. Sometimes people will, who are inexperienced will go like this. That means you're not doing it right. That means you're not pushing down hard enough. Um, and you don't want to be pushing too hard because you don't want it to go you just want to find the, the nice balance between pushing down and not pushing down too hard. So zero on the G string, zero on the B string, three on the E string. That's your G chord. Now we're going to move. You can grab your first finger here, so your, your index finger. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it on the first fret of the B string. And you're going to go zero on the G, one on the B, zero on the E. Now this one's a good shape because it's going to test you um, on how well you are keeping on the tips of your fingers here. So you see how I, I'm on the tip of my finger? Now what will happen is the fat part of your fingertip is going to touch the first string by accident if you're not doing it correctly. So if you're lazy and you bring your finger down slightly like this, you see how it's muting the, the E string? So that's what we want to be able to push it up Remember, try to be on the fingertip, very fingertip. If you have nails, this will make it really hard for you. So you might have to um, cut the nails on your left hand um, or bite them off. That's what I do. I just bite my nails all the time. Not a good habit, not healthy. Don't do it. Um, <laughs> so we're going to go here. First fret on the B string. So let's try it again. Zero on the G, one on the B, and zero on the E. Now those three notes make a C chord. So the next chord, hardest chord you're ever going to play, it's an E minor chord. Uh, and in this song, it's going to go zero on the G, zero on the B, zero on the E. And you're going to go like this. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> if I gotcha, 
normally I do it in person, so it's really funny. But it's um, obviously, I don't know if you're laughing or not. So it is what it is. So that's an E minor chord. So it's literally just playing open strings from the, from the G string down to the E string. Just like that. So easy. Now the last chord, we're going to swap it up. Swap it up. We're going to do two fingers. Two finger legendary skills. So this one, I want you to use your index finger and your ring finger. So one and three. So first finger and third finger. And you're going to get your first finger, that index, index finger. You're going to put it on the second fret G string. And then you're going to get your ring finger and you're going to put it on the third fret B string. And, but this one, we're going to start on the D string. So we're going to go D, zero, two on the G string, three on the B string. So I'll have this tabs up for you. So hopefully it makes sense. If this does not make sense, just go back and keep trying. Go back, keep trying. Eventually it will. Or just, you know, let me know in the comments and I will help you out. Uh, and join the community and, and post videos of yourself playing, by the way. Like, that's what this is all about. Especially if you guys get, like, I really want to see you guys do well. So please jump in. We have Q&As uh, daily. So, like, seriously, we're here to, we're all here to grow together. Um, there's no dumb questions. So that's the D chord. So that's going to go back. We'll go back, back to playing this G. So it's zero on the G, zero on the B, three on the E, G chord. And then we're gonna go to the C chord, which is zero on the G, one on the B, zero on the E, C chord. And then we're gonna play an E minor chord, zero on the G, zero on the B, zero on the E, E minor. And then we're gonna be moving on to the D chord. So that's gonna be zero on the D, and then one on the G, and then three, Oh, sorry, I mucked it up for you. Sorry. It's a D, zero on the D, two on the G, three on the B. Just like that. Bang. Easy ass. So those are the four chords. Rewind it as much as you need to get them. So you got G, C, E minor, D. Now, the only thing you need to do to train this rhythm is to remember the lyrics of the song. So the lyrics of the song go... I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone, whoa. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go, I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone, whoa. And that's it. So we're going to use the lyrics as, as the cues for your chords. So... I'll be riding shot. When you say shot is when you strum the G. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot is the C chord. Feeling like a sum, E minor. And then whoa. And then you play the D chord. So we're going to try that again. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun. Feeling like someone whoa amazing right technology so that's shotgun uh those are the first four chords that i want you to play they're very very simple it's not that crazy um there's a lot that it, that is being done here you're playing chords you're playing multiple strings you're doing like the finger things that you're like what is going on with my right hand and then this guy's telling me to sing the song too what's going on it's all about the rhythm. Don't worry about getting like, I'll be riding shot. You don't need to do that stuff. You just need to go, I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone, whoa. Um, it's really going to help you out. Um, lyrics are one of the best, best rhythmic cues for you uh, when you're getting into playing the guitar, um, especially because you're probably wanting to play pop songs. Um, or just in, in general songs, they all usually have lyrics to them unless you really want to play like guitar instrumental stuff. But even if you're a person who plays intr instrumental stuff, it'll be very handy for you to play a couple of like Kumbaya classics, ones that are around the campfire will absolutely slay and people will think that you are actually special because I used to play Eruption by Eddie Van Halen and no one cared uh, when I played Eagle Eye Cherry 
everyone was like, whoa, Save Tonight, I love that song. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but there we go. So we got G, C, E minor, and then D. Uh, don't overthink it. You don't have to play the, the top E string when you play the D chord. Um, that's not a big deal. Don't worry about hitting any of the, any of the other strings. Uh, if in the tab you get confused why I put like, uh, I don't think I'm going to put X's because uh, that's not how the tab maker works that I have. I don't believe it does. But if it does, it does. Uh, um, the X on tab means do not play that string. So you we're, for the first three chords, you're only playing the top three strings. And then for the D chord, you're playing the fourth. So the D string to the second string, which is the B. So hopefully that helps. And uh, we're going we're gonna to do a big level up in the next video. So I am very much looking forward to seeing how y'all go with the next video. Typically, I'm not going to surprise. Uh, I'm going to keep the surprise for when you guys click it. It's going to be like pretty intense. But basically, we're going to be playing three chords um, and we're really going to be leveling it up and adding all the strings on the guitar. Um, I've seen six-year-olds do this. So I'll, you guys will be able to do it. I believe in you. Just give it a good try. And remember to jump in into the community and, and show us videos of yourself playing or even put a photo and be like, I started practicing or I did that. So jump into the community. Let us know how you go. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's do it. Boop, boop.